Info at OrlandoBoatShow.com. Fox News alert now. The White House is expected to announce a package of policy proposals today aimed at improving school safety and keeping guns out of the wrong hands. They say this is in the wake of a big meeting with lawmakers at the White House yesterday where President Trump signaled openness to bipartisan proposals on gun reform. And a short time ago, the top Senate Democrat, Chuck Schumer, called for tougher gun control measures. Still, the Capitol is buzzing after the president stunned them all by signaling he's open to broader reforms. Watch. Having a comprehensive bill. Some people don't like the word comprehensive when they talk. I like the word comprehensive. You know, they say, oh, that's a bad word because it represents things. I mean, to me, I like the word comprehensive. I'd rather have a comprehensive bill. Mr. President, the most important thing you said at the outset is that we act. They have to act. And we don't go home yeah. empty-handed. So whatever but you know we what? can It'll do, be nice to act. to act. Yeah, but it would really be nice to create something that's beautiful, that works. Jimmy Green is a former candidate for DNC chair and Fox News contributor. Kenneth Del Vecchio is a Republican strategist, and uh, we are glad to have you both. Kenneth, what do you make of this? Well, look, is the Second Amendment here for the purposes of allowing us to go hunting? and to just protect ourselves if somebody comes at us with a gun. Well, really, the real reason for the Second Amendment is in case the government turns into tyranny, that we have the right to take up arms. So I can't say that I'm in favor of any restrictions on our Second Amendment rights at all. I do. Be in disagreement with our founding fathers. But I, I think, look, every single Democrat should find it refreshing to see a Republican not kowtowing to the gun lobby. And that is what President Trump did. The, the problem is we've seen President Trump go out in a number of different situations, whether it was with the Dreamers, whether it was with fighting the opio opioid crisis, um, where he hasn't delivered. He's, he's made a lot of promises and hasn't delivered. So it, it is something that I think should be applauded, that he is going in the right direction. It just, I don't think we've seen him be able well, to pull it out. Hold on a second here. The president has delivered on every single one of his promises, and he's attempted to. The dreamers, you know, these are people that came here by no fault of their own, and it's a moral and just thing to allow them to stay. Now, when we're talking about here with the gun control, this is a well-thought-out process by the president quickly after a massacre has occurred. And I don't think he has any intention of really subterfuging any of our Second Amendment rights. And I don't think that the Democrats should be jumping all over this like, like that, he's, that he's not delivering on his promises. It's one thing to say that he's being a little bit walking across the aisle, trying to console America in a time of crisis. But this man's delivered. He's going to get us the wall, and he's going to make sure our Second Amendment rights all are right, fully let me, protected. Let me step in here, because we're talking about Chuck Schumer. And uh, he just has said, this is in my notes now, just from moments ago, uh, Senator Schumer says, the president's remarks on guns are the, quote, best chance in decades to move on guns. The Good president point. is a deal maker. He does this. He, he, he will put some ideas out there and then... You know, we see what shakes out. I, I do want to hear from the president, though. Can we roll that? The reason I had lunch with the NRA on Sunday, I called him. I said, you got to come over. He said, fellas, we got to do something. And they do have great power. I agree with that. They have great power over you people. They have less power over me. I don't need it. I don't. What do I need? Some of you people are petrified of the NRA. You can't be petrified. They want to do what's right, and they're going to do what's right. I really believe that. Kenneth, talk to me about the relationship between this president and the NRA. The president has been a friend to the NRA. And I agree with the president that, hey, the NRA shouldn't have power over anybody. First of all, nobody has power over Donald Trump, and we've seen that. But his relationship is one where with everybody, the man says what he means, and he means what he says. Do you think they have, I, we know that he met with the NRA's president over the weekend, Wayne LaPierre and Chris Cox. So, you know, when you're looking at this, is Chuck Schumer right? Is this the best chance with this I, particular I, president? I think Democrats have to take this seriously as the best chance. And Do you think one they of, are? One of the reasons why I, I am finding this to be very refreshing is also understanding that Donald Trump follows ratings. He understands that 98% of Americans want sensible gun safety laws. They want background checks. He understands that the numbers 
are on the side of where the Democrats have been and not on the side of the gun lobby. So as the president really does take into account these ratings, in a sense, I, I think this is the best chance. But again, he has to deliver. He didn't deliver for Dreamers. He hasn't delivered on meaningful reform when it you know comes what? to the, the drug The president went facing. farther for Dreamers, since you want to make it about that. 1.8 million people. He didn't have to go that far for Dreamers. That includes their immediate families. And Democrats are still at the table not wanting to put any food on their plate. I'm it's confusing and anti-productive. Let, let me, Kenneth? Let, let me say this. The president is not some hollow shill for ratings. The president <laughs> is a guy where people do not give him credit that he's a free thinker and he does things that his heart tells him to do. So while here in this specific circumstance, I don't think that our Second Amendment rights should be infringed at all as a reaction to what occurred here. Put some guns in the hands of people in the schools, meaning armed security guards who are licensed law enforcement agents, and maybe, maybe taking teachers who have gun training and allow them to handle it. Taking away any other rights we don't so you don't like there. what Dick's Sporting Goods did and Walmart did yesterday, although that's free market. They can do what they want, right. raising the age to buy firearms in one case. And do you know, why, do you know why the free market and is going to follow that, those types of policies? Because it's a knee-jerk reaction right now. No, because they too yes. are looking at where the American people have been saying for decades, we have to do something this about this. This is not this. what the American Columbine, people say, it's what part of American people was that? say. Right. And, and the fact that the president doesn't like ratings, I mean, he Okay, he loves us at Fox News because of our ratings. Uh, Jamu, <laughs> Kenneth, thank you very much. New